Friends, Kristen here with Chandler Kinney. Hi. We're here at your event, yes. Chandler's Friends Toy Drive and yes. Gift Wrapping Event. Yes. I'm curious to find out if your friends are good at gift wrapping. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, they are, though. They actually are, though. What inspired you to create this event years ago in the first place? My mom and I created Chandler's Friends about three years ago, and it started very small, just giving back blankets that we made to foster children. And since then, we've kind of made more relationships and gained resources to give back on a larger scale. And so last year was my first toy wrapping event, and this is the second one. It's going to be an annual thing now, and I'm so excited. And all the toys are going to Anna Lee Avenue Elementary School, and so I'm very excited. And the kids are so sweet. It's insane to see just how many people brought in like games and like different presents today. So it's so beautiful to see that. I'm so happy and like so proud of her that she's doing something as beautiful as this. This is just like a super cool event because one like you get to wrap presents with all your friends and two it helps out kids that don't really get to have Christmas presents. I always try to volunteer and like charity work and all that stuff so it's really great being here. Christmas is just such an important thing knowing that people aren't getting gifts and and I mean it's just to come here and see everyone giving it's a very rare opportunity and it's it's a great feeling here. It's it's awesome. I've never done a charity event before, so I'm really excited to like wrap gifts and just like help the less fortunate. I'm French with Chandler and I supported her last year at this. It was so fun. Chandler's so great. It's always great to, you know, give something for Christmas. I brought some of the Project MC Square dolls, so yeah. hopefully kids like that. Yeah, so a lot of fun. When you're wrapping, do you tend to be more meticulous, make it perfect, or like throw it together with some tape? I mean, I'm a perfectionist, except the only downside is I'm not the best rapper, so I'm going to have to learn a few tips and tricks from Chandler. She's been doing this for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I usually like rap meticulously perfectly, but then it still doesn't end up great, but um, it's okay. It's still fun. I am the person who like throws it together, and I'm not very artistic, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I try to make it as perfect as possible. Yeah, I'm a neat freak. Throw it together, definitely. <laughs> I usually just put them in bags. Like, that's my thing. I just put them in bags. Definitely making it perfect. I like all the lines have to be perfect, you know? I try to be pretty meticulous about it. I have like, you know, a little OCD when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like just like I like everything to be super neat and like organized. I'll try my best to make it perfect. I'll do my best. I'm not really the best. It might be a little messy. It might take some time. I'm gonna be careful today though. I'm like I'm good at rapping. Sometimes I run out of tape and I have to use masking tape, <laughs> but it still works. <laughs> I am such a perfectionist. <laughs> no, I make sure everything's in order and if it's not, I've started over a few times. I really don't know, so I just try my hardest. If it's bad, oh well. I try to make it perfect, but I not good like I'll cut it too short or I'll make it too long and then it rolls over weird but it's made with love so that counts. Keep it simple. Easy to <laughs> easy to unwrap. Don't want to make it too uh, complicated for the kids. I take so long to wrap presents like if it's an, especially if it's like an odd shape I need to figure out all of the mathematics in order to make it perfect. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna see how I'm really feeling how my hands feeling you know what I'm saying you gotta it's delicate. I'm kind of Good last year. It was really good. It's improving. It's yeah, improving. we're improving. I have developed my wrapping skills over the years. I used to just throw it together and the wrapping paper like wouldn't even stick together. It'd just be like a sticky job. But over the years, it's become more and more meticulous and I've actually mastered the craft now, I think. I am a perfectionist, so I will keep renewing it until it's absolutely beautiful and perfect. Oh, I have to make it perfect. I have to make it perfect. No one in my family has ever been good at wrapping presents and it's just a horrible thing. So I try my best, but it usually ends up looking bad and then I just kind of throw whatever to make it like I planned it that way. I'm not the best rapper, but you know, if I if I try, I can. I think I'll do pretty well. I'm trying to make it uh, as perfect as I can. I want there to be a smile on every child's face. I'm actually pretty good at rapping, like believe it or not. I, no, yesterday me and her were rapping gifts, and I have to say I love like getting everything perfect. Me on the other hand, I'm a sloppy rapper. I don't like wrapping gifts that much, but I'm just not good at it. <laughs> I'm definitely not that good at rapping, but I try. I try my best. Okay, I want it to be perfect, but I am terrible at rapping. Definitely perfect. Presentation is absolutely everything. You gotta make sure the corners are nice. No like bumpy corners with like, no. Make it perfect. I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to gift wrapping and always adding a little bit of personalization makes it super special. I do my best to make it perfect. Sometimes I like literally have a protractor trying to figure out angles. <laughs> I 
I like to make it look pretty and to go full out, but then I don't know how to do that. So it just kind of comes out however it comes out. Put a little card like, hey, <laughs> made with love. I'm not good at wrapping presents, so I'm like in the middle between, so I'm going to really ask people to help me. Make it perfect. When you look under the tree after all those days going by, seeing the perfect wrapped gift makes you wonder what's inside. But if it's like all thrown together, you're like, oh, it's just some junk in there, you know? I want to make it pretty. Hey guys, it's Chandler. Thank you so much for coming to the Chandler's Friends Lethal Weapon and Los Angeles Ballet Academy Toy Wrap and Drive. I hope you have an amazing holiday. Bye. For more, go to justinemagazine.com. You can follow us on social at Justine Magazine. Be sure to get our issue in print or digitally and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we hope you have an amazing holiday season and make sure you get back this season too. See you soon.